Hello traders and investors, welcome back to our channel, Market Forecast and Investment. This week we will share with you uh, where is our index at the current closing. So this will be our multi time frame analysis and please bear with me and hope you like this video. So this is the time weekly time frame of PSE index which closed last Friday at 6.4 heavily rejected at the 6.8 psychological level so as you can see there was enough volume and made a bearish candle weekly candle close so and at, as far as it can go deeper so we can check on the daily time frame so it should be noted that since October 1st First week until the end of November, the index has been impulsively followed a wave for the bullish market. And then on the first week of December, it starts to pop a bearish candle. So we can check and validate with our previous analysis. I'll show you. So this was the guide and trading map we have shared before and to understand this the last high of 2018 was in our analysis is the completion of the impulsive wave 3 from the bullish run of 2012 until 2018 that's actually 2010 and up to 2018 bullish a very good bullish run while on the fourth corrective wave we can see this it formed the, the index form a what we call a complex correction in a form of w x and y so if we base our analysis on this our fourth corrective wave has in the ended on a 4k level which then made a quick recovery in a form of one two three four and five so this five wave move we label this as a leading diagonal wave one so what do you mean by this um, leading diagonal is very common for first wave of a next multi phase so by the name itself it leads the, na the next succeed succeeding multi phase so eventually after making this five complete move it was reject is what it, it made a corrective a b and c a b and c so our wave c formed another expanding diagonal and it is a ending diagonal so what do you mean by ending diagonal ending diagonal is also a five wave impulsive move to complete a wave C so it's very common for wave C wherein after the completion a quick recovery will follow so that was um, what the market has given us and has shown us for the past months from November up to the last week of November which eventually made a rejection on this resistance one or our resistance trend line of the ending diagonal which is very common as all investors or analysts are spotting on this trend line which will be very strong as this is uh, the resistance of the impulsive wave ending diagonal wave C so the very good thing is we are actually on the next phase which is the impulsive wave 3 so our main target is actually this move on the weekly time frame so let's shift to daily as we can see clearer the next succeeding impulses and corrective corrective waves for the fast time frame and toggling in a faster time frame enable us to spot accurately and determine the different structures for which the market is forming so if anybody is confused this is actually the clearer picture of 
the weekly and the red. So this one will be our in the ending there now one, two, three, four, and five. So so that concludes our wave C for ending diagonal and then wave C concluded the corrective wave 2 of the major impulsive wave 5 for the next phase so as you can see um, our index was traveling impulsively in a expanded wave 3 1, 2, 3 so we expect this correction as the wave 4 so that will be the next bias for this so wave 2 corrective wave 2 was our correction on the first wave that was shown after rejecting on this level while the wave 3 this wave 3 here is experiencing a somewhat an extended impulsive wave 3 wherein it also followed a 5 wave corrective move and after our wave 4 will be completed the next anticipated move will be this fifth wave and uh, to complete the wave the minor wave three so index already made a push on this trend line here so that will be a good confirmation that the index has really dominated the bearish sentiment at these levels so these gaps here were uh, taken out as you can see by this candles here so it means that the bulls are already in control but as you can see some candles have rejected this level so it only means that there will there are already profit taking at this state place and if we will plot our fab levels we can check that our extend extended wave 3 even reach almost to 3.618 so that's how strong our impulsive wave 3 is because the wave 3 it overextended so wave 3 should supposed to be until 1.618 2.618 and 3.618 so by this alone we can just we can really um, expect that there will be a, a quick correction for this move so that is what we will identify so in order to get retracements we have to plot our fab so wave 4 normally will be corrected at the 50% of the whole impulsive 3 so the invalidation for this will be this level so the initial of wave 1 so this wave 1 should should never be violated as if it is the case if this index will really drop below 6186 so this fab analysis is invalidated and this bullish wave analysis we have will be um, invalidated and no longer be updated into a bu bullish bias as this can be sort of an ABC so it is a part of the bearish trend so we will show what is the high probability for the next move so as I explained wave 5 wave Four will be at least 618 which the index already closed in this level so we will expect more likely to reach this 6399 or the psychological level 64 index so be prepared be have your cash ready and for aggressive investors you may reaccumulate in this levels but if you feel any fear or doubt so please follow your risk management and allocation of your portfolio in order to grab this opportunity and if you have confidence that this analysis is is more um, reliable or have higher confidence in this analysis you may wish to reaccumulate on these levels especially for index stocks which correct and heavily so and maximize this next move for our wave three next by the next succeeding, succeeding weeks so that would be all for our daily time frame of our index and hope you like this and please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like our video thank you and have a nice weekend